Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating nature-inspired watercolours in my studio, which are easy for you to do too. I share all my paintings with you on YouTube and on our website, dianeanton.com, you can find free downloadable sketches for all the videos to help you make the most of your painting journey. And if you'd like a little bit more, we also have channel memberships with loads of perks for you to enjoy. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. Hi everyone, hope everyone's well. Today we're going to um, do a, a kind of Christmas wreath that's sort of appropriate for a Christmas card, I think. Um, quite keen on um, drawing cardinals. So um, I've decided to put a pair of cardinals um, on the bottom of this uh, wreath. And then um, I'm going to just do, this is kind of two thirds of a circle, which I've drawn. You could use a, a saucer or something like that. Um, I used a compass, a set of compasses, because we happen to have them. But um, if you don't have that, you don't need, you can just use a saucer. And I've done it in pencil and now I'm just going to um, go over the whole thing, ink it all in, um, so that you can you can see me doing the drawing without me being too, uh, what's the word, um, on the spot, so to speak, with the drawing, because, uh, you know, so we, don't, we don't need stress, do we? Anyway, um, you can download this sketch if you would like to, from dianeanton.com, it's free. Just help yourself, pop on over there and um, and you can download it for free. So, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to be putting these in. I'm using a Stettler pigment liner. You could use a Faber-Castell. I've got, I've got those as well now. I've just got a whole bunch of stuff came back from our place in Spain where I'd left it before when the pandemic happened. Faber-Castell, these are artist pens, um, but the fine, it comes in uh, SFMB, bold, medium, fine, super fine, I guess. Um, so that's another alternative, but I'm not 100% sure that these are completely, I think they are waterproof. Anyway, I'm, I'm used to the Stettler pigment liner, so that's, that's what I'm going to use today. Um, I find that the, and I'm um, drawing on a piece of Etival watercolour paper, 140 pound watercolour paper, any uh, good paper will do, Strathmore, Bockingford. Um, if you want to use arches, there's no reason why not. Um, yeah, one of the nice things about doing it like this, where you draw the pencil sketch first and then you come in again and ink over it before you paint it. There's, there's something to be said for that if you don't mind having a pen and ink rather than just a pure watercolour, which of course we do quite a lot of pure watercolour, don't we? Um, but this is quite a fun thing because you can alter it as you go along. So you do your first sketch and then you come in with the ink and you're never going to go over all of the lines and as you go along you think oh I think that would look better like that or I won't do that bit so anyway it gives you a chance to uh what's the word contemporize extemporize extemporize that's the word I think make it up as you go along in other words um, this is meant to be a Christmas bauble. So I'll try and get that sort of round. And these are going to be pine, sprigs of fir or pine. Um, talking about baubles, I was thinking about this bocky thing. Is anyone interested in seeing a demonstration of Bocky? If so, can you put something in the comments below? 
It seems to be everywhere at the moment. I don't know, I can't make up my mind what I think, but I'm willing to give it a try. So what I'm doing, I've got a, the idea is there's a sort of woody stem going up here and uh, taking the whole thing around the circle, which we'll paint in afterwards. And here's another glass bauble. They're interesting to paint, aren't they? There's a lot of very, well, there are some on the internet that are not very good, but it is hard to make them shiny. So we won't worry about that. You know, you can get ones that are sort of matte, can't you? We'll pretend that ours aren't shiny. And then here, I'm going to have a little bunch of mistletoe above the two lovebirds. I heard that um, um, cardinals, red cardinals, are very good at pairing for life. So to put them under the mistletoe seems appropriate, doesn't it? Oops, that's a bit of a funny shape, never mind. Okay, so that's that. And now what I have to do is rub out the pencil lines. This ink dries fairly quickly, so much of a problem. Getting rid of the pencil. And uh, now we have to think about colours. Obviously the cardinal is red. So I've got um, Old Holland. Um, this is not sepia as it says on there. This is uh, permanent red. Quinacridone gold couldn't live without it. Black, which makes a good dark green if you mix it with quinacridone. Or you could, that might be Payne's Grey, but it could be Payne's Grey. Payne's Grey is good for that too, if I can find it. The reason Payne's Grey is, is good for it is because it has a slight blue tint to it, so you could use either of those. Um, so then we will be using also a few of these colours that I've got on my tray over here. Um, probably, maybe olive green. Um, I don't know. As I come to the colors, I'll let you know if I pick one of those. Just check we're back in frame. Yeah, yeah. okay. Okay, now, um, question now is which brush am I going to use? I'm kind of, uh, um, what's the word? Leaning towards my um, Kuretake water brush here. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Um, maybe I will. Now, um, what do you call it? Um, Mistletoe is bluish. It's a bluish green. So we want a bluish green. And I think it's possible that I might paint it with hooker's green here with a little bit of blue in it. A little bit of blue. I'm not sure it matters which blue. Something like that. That's hooker's green and um, little bit of blue, could be anything, turquoise, something like that. That's probably too blue. Let will see what that dries like. And then the holly. I 
I'm not going to try and keep within the lines here. This is going to be one of those paintings where these, um, uh, what do you call them? These, these uh, pen lines are just a guide. Um, the berries, I think, are sort of yellowish colour on mistletoe, or, or are they white? I don't know exactly. Well, I'm going to paint them yellow anyway. Well, not yellow, Naples yellow. I don't like that colour that I did though, so I'm going to go over that with something else. It doesn't matter. I'll lift some of that out because it's too dark. And then um, what colour shall we do the ball? Shall we do that golden? Quinacridone gold, leave a gap for the shine. And then um, Holly again. This is just pop in a mixture and then lift some of it out. I'm going to use a small brush for the fur tree leaves. Make them a bit bigger, make them a bit darker. This is a size three draw well brush. It's a regular synthetic Japanese round. center line in with paint a little bit there and on the um, mistletoe as well. And I'm going to put a little bit of shadow on the ball. I like to do twigs is I just wet the twig first then I drop in a light color like a light let's just say weak uh, burnt umber or something like that and I just go where I had wetted and then I think it looks quite good if you pick up a dark green or dark brown, whatever you want, and just drop in, just go along there and just drop in little dabs and let it run. And now I'm just doing some leaves.
a little bit of holly here again. Good old holly. And I didn't put any berries up there, so I'm just going to go back and put some red berries in. The red really lifts the whole thing, doesn't it? So we put some more in here. And this is meant to be here. This is meant to be um, like hawthorn berries, which I know not everyone in America knows what they are, but they're just a shrub that has red berries in the winter. Okay, and then let's do this ball the same. Do this one yellow too. stem again. Main thing to remember when you're painting anything like this is, is to try to keep things irregular is easier said than done. And we've got some nice little leaves here. some more red holly berries. Do these ones while I've got the red on my brush, I think. And then these a few more of the hawthorn berries. Maybe we'll just put a few little blacks. In 
just to and these need actually these do need black dots on them and sometimes just a few imaginary um, dots like that I have no idea what they might be but isn't there something I'm sure there's something I don't know what but I'm sure there's something that would be have blackberries not blackberries but blackberries Well, elderberries are very dark, aren't they? So we could pretend this was an elder. It just kind of lifts it a bit, doesn't it? Make these ones black then, we'll call that elderberries. I think there are still a few on the trees. Just bring the branch round underneath Mr. Cardinal's feet. There's a bit more of that green on those hollies. Okay, so now I'm going to stick with the small brush and uh, a little bit of red with quinacridone gold for the lady. I know they're kind of beige, but artistic license will make her a bit more yellowy. a little mask. Maybe she has a little bit of reddish here, perhaps. And then I think she has sort of pinkish, yeah, pinkish, reddish, yellowish beak. We'll make it that colour, perhaps. And then Monsieur Le Cardinal. much more dramatic. And he has his mask as well. I suppose he has a red beak too. I 
Oh ja. So. And then having done that, we can come back with our pen and we can touch up some of the paint work, so to speak. For example, I don't want to do that. Yeah, we can go around these berries again, make them a bit rounder if you want. Put some uh, send some veins in if you want. Emphasize the eyes. That's hard to do with a brush. And so on. You can play with it for quite a while if you want. Maybe we might want a bit more holly here. Another berry or two. I mean, you can adjust it as you go along. So there we are, one of those days today when perhaps you might not feel quite on top of your game, but nevertheless, I don't know if I can make this white pen work, that's the, uh, I think both of those are probably dead. This one will give me a white dot for the eye. There we are. Voila, as they say. So there's one little wreath. I'm sure you can make up a much better job of it than me if you take your time, like I don't. And, um, Make a nice Christmas card, I think. Yes, probably would. So there's the final painting. I've added a few more leaves and a few more berries um, just to finish it off. Um, if, for those of you with sharp eyes, you'll notice uh, one or two little differences, but not very much. Um, the tracing's available for you on the website, dianeanton.com, uh, complete with all any additional bits and pieces that I've added which as I say isn't very much so I hope you enjoyed doing that with me today or if you haven't done it yet I hope you do enjoy doing it when you do do it and uh, another Christmas card bites the dust so have a lovely evening and I'll see you again soon bye everyone bye bye <laughs>